Good morning Year 6 and welcome to Friday's Maths lesson. Today we are going to do some division. So the first thing that I want you to have a go at is pause the lesson here and try these simple times tables on screen which you can do all using your times table knowledge. Then come back and check your answers. Okay, let's go through them then. Remember, when you're doing a division based on your times tables, it's as simple as working in the opposite way. So 45 divided by 9 is the same as asking yourself, what times 9 equals 45? Okay, so we should have 5, 9, 11, and 7. And then these ones, you're just going 10 times bigger. So 240 divided by 8, I'm going to think of 24 divided by 8, which is 3. But I started 10 times bigger, so my answer's 10 times bigger. Okay, same with this one. 360 divided by 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6. The question was 10 times bigger, so the answer is 10 times bigger. These ones are slightly different. 8. 810 divided by 90 is just going to be 9, because this is 10 times bigger and this is 10 times bigger. So the answer is the same as 81 divided by 9. Same with this one. 630 divided by 70. I've made that 10 times bigger than 63. That 10 times bigger than 7. seven. So the answer will be 9. Okay, well done if you got all of those right. On the next slides, I'm going to run you through our two methods of division, short division and long division, which we did earlier in the term, and then you can have a go on your own. <clears throat> so, 245 divided by 5. I'm going to do that simple short division. Now, remember, I can lay out my short division like this. The divisor here, and then the number you're dividing inside here. And I'm going to try to put 5 into each part of this number. So can 5 go into 2? No, it can't. So there's none there. And that 2 will be carried over, so it's 24. 5 into 24. It goes 4 times, because 4 times 5 is 20. I wanted 24, so I've got 4 left over, 4 remainder. How many 5s are there in 45? I'm going to do my five times table, I know that there are nine. Okay, nice and simple little recap there for you. Let's see what happens if we're going to end up with a remainder. So set out my question in exactly the same way. It is really wonky, but I'm still perfecting the uh, mouse using my finger. So <clears throat> how many sevens in three? There's none. I'll carry that over. How many sevens in 39? There are five, and five sevens are 35, leaving a remainder of four. How many sevens are there in 41? There's going to be five, which is 35, and then that's remainder six. Because there are six left over, and there's nowhere else to go. Okay. Let's try and use short division for a two digit number. Now it will be easier to do because this is a 12 and we know our 12 times table. So I'm going to set it out in exactly the same way. Okay, 500, oops, and 52 divided by 12. So 12 into 5, I can't do that. Carry it over. 12 into 55. Well, I'm going to check my 12 times tables here. So 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72. Two, I'll stop there for now and see if that's enough. So 55, my closest one is 48. That's four lots of 12, and that leaves a remainder of seven. Then 12 into 72, I can see that's in my times tables, my 12 times table. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six lots. So that fits neatly with no, remain, no remainder. <clears throat> 
What I'm going to do now is show you how to do this one, remind you how to do it using long division alongside it so you can see. Because this is one that we can fairly easily do either way. So it's good to remind us how to use the method for when it gets a bit trickier. So if I was using the long division method, okay, I'm going to put my zero there again because I know that it's not going into five, but I am working in 55 now. So I look down my list of multiples, look down my 12 times table, what's the closest number to 55 that's not higher than 55? And it's 48. So I write 48 in there. And then I check how many lots of 12 is that? One, two, three, four lots. That goes in my answer bar. Now to find my remainder, I will take away. Okay, and I'm going to have to do a bit of exchanging if I can't do it in my head. 15 take away 8 is 7. Now that's, it. that's an easy subtraction. I could have done it in my head but I'm showing you for when it gets harder. Then you drag down your next digit. And now you've got 72. Look down your multiples list, which number is the closest? I've actually got the number 72, so that's perfect. I can write 72 in there. And then I can check how many lots that is. One, two, three, four, five, six lots. Okay, and then do my subtraction here and I get to zero. Now having a zero there means I've finished and I've got no remainder. And you can see this and this come up with exactly the same answer. Okay. Now what it does mean is if you find this really hard, you can use short division for any division at all. You just need to know the multiples, okay, which obviously gets harder when this is number that's not like 12. If this number becomes 30 something or 40 something, your multiples are harder and the short division's harder because you're going to end up with bigger remainders. And this is why we've shown you long division because you, you actually subtract and find the remainders within the process. I'm going to show you a couple more examples of using long division before you go off and have a go. So what I'm going to do here is let's come up with the multiples of 28 together and then you can pause me and have a go and come back and see if you were right. So if I do 28, then it would be 56, add another 28 would be 84, add another 28 would be 112. And another 28 would be 140. Let's hope that that's going to be enough for now. I can always add more later. So if you want to have a go, if you feel confident enough to have a go without me showing, pause me here and then come back and check. If not, I'll go through it with you now. Okay. Right. Let's set it up then. So 28 there. 364. So... When we did this last time, lots of you liked to just put the zero there so you didn't get confused, and that's fine. Just shows that we can't work with three, even though we, we can see that, can't we? So we look at 36. Down my multiples list, which one's the closest? That will be 28. How many lots of 28 was that? It was just one. And now I do a subtraction to find my remainder. Okay, again, I can probably do this in my head and give me eight then I drag down my next digit and now I've got 84 so I want to put 28 into 84 look down my multiples list I've actually got 84 that's perfect I'm right 84 there then I can check how many lots of 28 it was one two three lots and then if I do my subtraction, this is obviously easy. That was a very bad line, sorry. Zero, I finished. Okay, I've got no remainder. My answer is 13. Well done if you got that one right. Let's do one more and this one is gonna have a remainder. You can do the same thing. I'm gonna start out 
with putting the multiples list and then if you want to pause me and have a go before you before I reveal the answer then that's absolutely fine so 27 it would be 54 now remember when you do this independently and you're put doing your multiples list you've just got to add that same number each time okay and it can be a bit tricky because the numbers are big and it can get a bit fiddly to add but if you just add the same number each time for example when I'm adding 27 in my head the way I would do this is I'd add 30 and then take 3 away so if I'm trying to find the next one here I've got 135 I know adding 30 to that would be 165 but I only want 27 so it'd be 162 I'm going to go one more and then hopefully that will be enough so if you want to pause at this point and, and try yourself before you see me doing it, then do. Otherwise, just follow it through with me now. Okay. Set it out. 27 there. 453. Right. Zero there to hold that place. 27 into 45. What's my closest number? Now it is 27, even though that's quite far away. Oops, and 27 is one lot. Now I take that away. Bit of exchanging to do. Can you take away seven? Eight, okay, 18. Then drag my next digit. So now I'm looking for 183 or the closest thing to 183. I'll go down here, I can see that I've got 189, which is quite close, but it's bigger, so I can't use that. I have to use the one below. So 162, I will write that in. And then check one, two, three, four, five, six, it's six lots. Then do my subtraction. Okay, now I've got nothing else to drag down. I am at the end. I haven't ended with zero, so I've got a remainder. And that goes back at the top. So my answer is 16, remainder 21. Well done if you managed that. Okay, I hope it's been helpful to watch me go back through the two methods of division that we've already done. And now hopefully you'll feel a bit more confident to go and have a go. We had a bonus one there that we'd already done. So your choice now, you've got the two kind of middle sheets. You can either do short division. There's a sheet to practice just short division, or there's an activity where you'll be practicing long division. So you can decide where your comfort lies. There is a challenge sheet that you can move on to afterwards. And if all of this seems a little bit too hard for you, okay, if you're someone that has struggled with division in class, and maybe you were someone who was using counters at school, for example, you might just want to try the times table division. There's a missing number challenge for times table division on there. So you decide. Now remember, if you're doing your sheet and you're finding it a little bit hard, come back to this lesson and look and watch my examples and that might help, okay? And remember, you can always email if you need a little bit more support with something, all right? So hope you get on well this morning and I will see you next week for the next lessons. Well done, year six. Bye-bye.